Hey, what's up guys? I'm Seawove, and if you like simple woodworking projects and DIY videos, go on and smash that subscribe button right now so you can grow with my channel and check out the awesome stuff that I've got on the way. This video is for the king size version of my super popular queen size foot and bed frame. I don't even own a king size bed, so if you want this one, all you have to do is follow the steps that I'm about to show and you can have this thing built before the weekend is over for sure. I'm going to go pretty quick because I don't want to take a lot of your time, so come on, let's take a look. Go on and get all the lumber you need, sand it down, cut it up, clean it off, and take a picture. These are the pieces you will need to make the base without the storage. Two 10 foot boards will have the outside of your base covered and you will need a 6 foot board to go down the middle. You won't need those notches unless you want to modify it for storage and you do that simply by trading the foot board in the base for a 2x4. I'm using 3 inch fasteners to make sure that everything is very secure and I recommend the same for you if you plan on building this. From the headboard area, measure to 16 inches, 33 inches, and 51 inches on both sides and make a mark. This will be for later. This right here is a Simpson Strong Tie. It's basically just a twisted piece of metal. They're less than a buck and they're so easy to use, all you have to do to attach them is this. Secure your whites to the base and it's time for the frame. I built this one to have space to add a headboard waiter, so if you don't want that, these are your measurements for your pieces right here. If you might want to add a headboard waiter, just add 5.5 inches to both of your side pieces. I highly recommend taking the time to measure and pre-drill your holes. This makes the assembly process so much easier. Please feel free to ask me any questions you have or tell us what country you're watching from in the comments section. Measure from the same place on both sides often to make sure your frame is centered over your base. I used 2x6s for the frame and secured the outside of it together. As usual, I built this by myself, so if you are too, Use some of your scrap base material to prop the foot of the frame up while you secure the headboard area to the strong ties. Once you get back to the foot area, take the time to measure and make sure you are still centered up. After that, you can attach the last joist to the frame and the strong ties, and the rest of the assembly will be pretty quick. Measuring on both sides of the frame from the same place that you did earlier on the base, you will again measure to 16, 33, and 51 inches and make a mark. These lines on the base and frame should line up pretty accurately and will be a guide for placing the rest of the joists. Mark and pre-drill the holes where you want to place your joists and drop them in place. As always, make sure and be careful, especially with little ones around. My box screen tried to take me out during this build. This bed frame is definitely rock solid and I can't wait to see what it looks like when it's all set up. I'm sure it will find a nice home sooner or later. I'll finish it up and walk on it to make sure it's totally stable and here's a picture and walk around of what it looks like when it's done. Don't be shy, please talk to me in the comments section, I'd sure love to hear from you. My queen size video has made it pretty much around the world and that's enabled me to talk to some really great people from all over. I'll help you with your build if I can. Thanks for stopping by and sharing this video with a friend or family member. Crush that like button and come back and see me, I'll be here. 